Uh, Daniel Nichols here and Richard McCorkle. Richard McCorkle. Yes. Richard McCorkle is here today just to talk a little bit about. Um, what are you here to talk about? I'm here to talk about this <laughs> wonderful album, actually, that Daniel's uh, working on. This is Daniel's uh, solo album. Have you ever made a, a, an album by yourself before? This is the first one. Awesome. First one. Awesome. Well, I had the privilege of Daniel asking me to play bass. Uh, oddly enough, on mm -hmm. his album, uh, we're in a band together called uh, Leeward Fate, and I play bass. Um, and he's doing a solo album, and I think it kind of just was like it just started. I'm, you were just going to write some songs, make a solo yeah. album, do it the best you can. Pretty much. But what the interesting, not only spin on it, but an inspiration and giving purpose to this is that it's the album is called what? Album for a Cure. That's the campaign that right. is actually going to be running. Awesome. Um, so basically, that means. Um, we'll be running a little campaign starting in the month of October 1st all the way to the 30th, hoping to reach $10,000 for breast cancer research Wonderful. at Duke. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So uh, Dan asked me to play bass on this album, and um, which is very interesting because I've been playing bass for his songs for quite some time. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm really excited that he asked me even to play on it. And um, from what we've been hearing and doing, these are some pretty cool songs, and very good songs. He knows it is. I know it is. Just let me know. <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, it's very cool. Cool. Um, when I first asked you mm -hmm. um, to play bass yes. on this, um, do you have any intentions or any uh, ideas of what you kind of were getting into? I actually felt really good that you asked me. Not only that I was honored to be a part of it, but I thought I can actually now approach Dan's music as a bass player, mm -hmm. as a musician. And that was something I couldn't do in Leeward Fate because I was involved in the music. Mm -hmm. So I've been recording with Dan so far for a couple months now, um, and it has been a joy to do because I'm actually just playing my instrument. Mm -hmm. And I love Dan's role as a producer now, too, because I'm really able to do what he wants me to do and the things that we're coming up with. It's, it was just as exciting with Leeward Fate. But it's more actually more satisfying for me for this. Yeah. So I'm excited. That's cool, yeah. And he's doing a killer job, too. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> so uh, when I originally asked Richard to um, be a part of this project, mm -hmm. I had uh, not really known where this project was actually going to go. Okay. Um, so as the songs kind of started filtering through and one kind of kept, uh, you know, just kind of dominoing after the other. Yes. Um, I wasn't really sure the direction of this album. Okay. And then um, a couple of events happened in my life. I lost my aunt mm. to uh, breast cancer. Yeah. And then uh, my wife's uh, grandma just recently passed away from wow. cancer as well. Wow. So um, something in me just basically said, I needed to do this for cancer. Yes. And I wanted all the proceeds to go to um, research and right. trying to find a cure. Cause yes. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm sure many of you out there have lost a lot of loved ones Absolutely. from cancer. And, and if I may piggyback on what you said, a lot of times we, we do these things and we think there's going to be a cure, but that, that's the main goal. Mm -hmm. But I think what's really important is that a lot of these monies that are raised go to the comfort and treatment while we're trying to get a cure. Mm -hmm. And that has to be said. We're, we're so focused on the end result, and that end result will come. You know, yeah. God willing, that end result will come. But what's important is when you give to any sort of uh, cancer charity or mission, you're actually also giving to the comforts of those people, right. whether it be financially, mm -hmm. whether it be in the uh, um, evolution of something greater for uh, more technology to come. So again, with a lot of things, it's a process. Yeah. And that's what's so wonderful. And I think what you're doing is, is fantastic. I mean, cool. that, that's amazing. That's cool. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, yes. I'm really happy to have you on board. Cool, yes. And we're actually really happy to have you on board as yes. well. So it's going to take a lot of people and a lot of teamwork yes. to get this thing off the ground. Absolutely. Um, I've already been working with a lot of different folks, and mm -hmm. um, they've given me a lot of input yes. and just ideas of where to take this. But... I think the biggest thing is just spreading the word and mm -hmm. creating this effect. Right, and also so, awareness. Awareness, yes, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I think also um, the big thing about research, a lot of people don't know where does your money go. Okay. Um, so I'll be having an interview with a physician. Oh, that's cool. And um, basically talking about where the kind of this money's like, 
what things are being bought okay. with the money, okay. um, how it's being used, how it's being facilitated, what kind of um, you know treatments will it be going to. Right. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, factors involved right. in Absolutely. terms of finding a cure. Right. With uh, October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, it also... Th- if I, correct me if I'm wrong, breast cancer is something that is, you, you can overcome that. Is yeah. that you have a better oh, yeah. chance to do that, right? Yes, you do. Um, you know, if you catch it early on, uh-huh. if you get the proper treatments, if you stay up on your own health, right, right. Um, that is a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have a good team that's working with you in terms of doctors, yes. you know, healers, right. um, uh, holistic medicine, uh-huh. um, you know, spiritual health. Yes. Um, it takes all those factors to to get you to you know go into remission or rid yes. cancer completely. Now that's awesome. That's so awesome. It um, it takes a lot of a lot of different things. So yes. yeah, but uh, so basically, you're going to be getting some music, good music, good music, <laughs> and um, the money that you will be hopefully donating to this cause, which is called Album for a Cure, mm-hmm. um, will be going to Duke cancer research for breast cancer. Awesome. Awesome. So, thank you very much, and I'd like to just thank you for coming in today. Absolutely. I love Dan. (laughs) I love this guy.